Thank you much. A big crowd expected here tonight. This will be the first home game for the Smithville Seminoles since April's deadly tornado. And locals say it's one of the many signs that this town is on its way back. As of Friday morning, Smithville's newest restaurant is open for business. We noticed that, you know, there's a lot going on here, but there's nothing really here to eat. And uh, that's what we do best. The restaurant is on the site of a former car lot. And on Monday, more than 500 students will start at Smithville's newest campus. 46 buildings were constructed in 40 days. Teachers like Suzanne Digby are still unpacking, but they say they'll be ready Monday morning. I noticed you're wiping down your supplies and stuff. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, well, I had some of the, my things were destroyed, but then the things that were um, that were not destroyed, I was able to save, and I've had to clean because they've had um, just the debris from the tornado all over them, and so I've just been cleaning and wiping down all of my books and all of my games and things like that today. So Officials touring the new campus say this community has shown overwhelming strength in the face of adversity. Got to pull together and have faith in the good Lord that he's going to take care of us even through our, our darkest days and our hardest trials, but it speaks well of our people here in Smithville. Smithville faces longtime rival the Hatley Tigers, and while any football game is important, this one will be extra special. There is a ceremony planned before the game to honor the town and its residents. In Smithville, I'm Allie Martin for WCBI News. We'll send it back to you in the studio.